Hello guys, today we're talking about how to start running. Why is this so low? Anyways, backstory is that I started running because one day I came home from work. No, one day I woke up on the weekend and my back was like, ugh, it hurt. I think it's because I slept weird, but that made me think. You know what, I want to live till I'm old, till like life expectancy of 80 years old. So why not start running? A lot of people are running right now. Everyone's just crazy about trying marathons and stuff. I'm just going to be chill. Um, I do three kilometers every week, just back and forth. Um, but I thought it's just a nice way to get some cardio in. Besides doing running on the weekends throughout the day, I would also do K-pop dances. So a lot of their cardio and choreographies are pretty intense. Sometimes you're just jumping around. And even if I don't know the dance perfectly, I just think moving around is a good way to stay healthy in between different days. So I just wanted to share with you guys how to start running because I think it's important to encourage other people to do things that better themselves. So if you see this, I highly recommend that you start running, but here are the things I would do before I start running. So I'm not a professional runner, but what's most important is to stay hydrated, put on your sunscreen, and then you should stretch all the time before you run. So we're gonna go over stretches, then we're gonna start running. An important thing to know about running is a lot of it apparently is psychological because unless you're actually gonna drop down with a heart attack, most of the time, you're pretty good, and it's that psychology of taking one step every time. And that's what I put in my head. Every single step I take, I'm saying one more step, one more step, one more step. It's good to focus on your breathing. So breathing in on your nose and out through your nose is gonna help you keep your oxygen as well as not run out of breath or have a dry throat. But when you do realize you need more oxygen, it's okay to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Yeah, so running off super slow. So I would just say, Running, you get better the more you run. So start off with something super small and start making progressions towards something better and better. So literally running for five minutes. Who cares if you're running for five minutes? Meanwhile, people are running for an hour. Just like this quote, um, plant, the best time to plant a tree, oh sorry, no. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the next best time is today. Similarly, if you compare it to, if you compare it to working out, the best workout isn't the best, what's that quote? I don't remember the quote, but it's something like the best workout isn't the most intensive one, it's the one, it's the workout that happened. Which honestly, that hits home to me. I'd rather just do something small rather than not doing anything at all. It shows your commitment, your progression, and it kind of just benders you. So then, after you, sorry for all that yapping, um, after you run, it's very important to stretch afterwards as well. Get a lot of water, hydration, making sure that you're getting your protein. On the so, I think focusing on those things, yeah. Now, let's get to stretching. One, two, three, four. Maybe got me looking so crazy. Put your body in a daydream. Got me feeling you the 